Welcome everybody to the Web Application Monitoring Setup Guide. In this video, I will take you through the e-commerce performance monitoring setup with every step scripting tool. For this example, I'm going to record a script of the shopping cart transaction on Amazon. To begin, I need to create a new device using every step scripting tool. First, I supply the URL from which I'm going to start recording. You can set up user behavior emulation settings here. But for this video, I'll stick to the default settings. When the page is loaded, the tool starts recording all activities as site navigation is happening. Let's use the search to find the item to put in the shopping cart and make the script more specific. In addition, at each step of the script, I will use a keyword validation. To do this, I need to select the necessary keyword on the page and right-click it. Keyword validation adds a line to the script that asserts the specified keyword exists somewhere on the currently loaded web page. In general, it is highly recommended to add keyword validation before any navigation step in the script. It will not only check the proper content was loaded, but allows .com monitor to execute the next navigation step only when the visible elements were actually rendered in the browser window. Let's stop recording at this point. I'm prompted to replay the script and I recommend that you do not skip this option to be sure the script was recorded correctly. Now I can save it to the device. As you can see, the script is automatically embedded into the monitoring device. From here, you can edit the script at any time. Okay, now I can save the device and wait for the system to start monitoring. To view the device performance metrics, I will pull the online report from the device menu. From the log, we can select the location and review the waterfall chart with an element by element loading report. Also, to have a look at the script execution from a real user side, we can access the device execution video in the browser window. For additional questions, please contact your sales representative or our technical support team, or check our knowledge base for in-depth information. Thank you for watching.